Hello everyone. So welcome to our tutorial. In this video, we will show you how you can create a Contraform 7 form and style it without the help of any CSS or any kind of style coding. So let's get started. So to do that, first we will install our plugin called ultimate addons for contact form 7 so let's install this one so once you install this it will ask that ask you to install contact form 7 so if you don't have if you have not installed contact form 7 then you need to install that Now um, let's go to the Contraform 7's Ultimate Addons options. So here you will see all the options available on Ultimate Addons as we will basically show you how to style the form. So we will just enable these two options. One is form styling and another is placeholder styling. So let's select this one and let's click save. now let's create a form okay style form demo okay now let's save it now let's publish this form on a page demo form let's publish it now let's go to the page so as you see it's just a basic form now now with the help of ultimate addons we will now uh, style this form so you see that there, there are two tabs here one is placeholder and another is form styler the placeholder with the placeholder tab you can um, edit the placeholders we haven't used any placeholder on this form so let's add a placeholder here okay let's add another text field text field let's name it like this so add your subject and we want to use this as placeholders and insert so as we are using placeholder we don't need any heading for this field and I click save so this is the placeholder so let's first style the placeholder so first we need to enable the placeholder now from here you can add the color of the placeholder let's add it red and let's add the background color of the placeholder to be um, it's a black and here is the font to it you can use normal or italic for demo purpose i am selecting italic and the font to it let's say 700 the font size by default is 16 um, let's add 18 and here you can add the font name you can just just add the font family name for example if you want to use roboto make sure whatever font name you use it's properly enqueued on your theme so we will not use this one you can mm, now let's save now if we reload as you see the placeholder is now i think there from the theme there is a opacity on the placeholder that is why the full color is not showing here okay maybe there is an opacity from the theme that is why the full color is not showing let us change the theme let's use this one it's a blank theme okay so as you see now the color is available but let's use okay let's use 2019 ok 
Okay, so seems like the themes are adding some sort of opacity on the placeholders. Okay, let's keep it as it is. Now let's go back to our form and show you the styler. So now let's add the style. So the first of all, there is a label option. So the labels are basically these are the labels. Okay, let's add some red color to the label. So as you see, the colors are now red. The background color is basically the label background color. You can add some background on the labels if you want. Let me choose black. These are basically what I showed on the placeholder. So let's skip this one. So if we save. Now you see the black is added but it doesn't look good so let's add some padding so let's say 10 pixel padding okay okay the reason we added labels like this so the label wrapper is there is a problem in the level wrapper it doesn't need any label here so there we go the padding is now okay now let's add the input field for example on this one you will see the input frame doesn't have any color that's why the input field is not showing so with the help of our again we can easily add some colors so let's add the green golden background color let's make it white there we go um, so let's add some margin on top and let's add a border radius of 5 pixel and let's add a border and border can be solid and the border width can be 2 sorry no px needed 2 so now as you can see the margin is added radius is added border is also added okay now the let's go to the submit button this submit button let's add it and let's say yellow and let's add blue as background and the hover color can be white hover color can be black now let's save now the button color should change okay we have used a similar color as the theme let's choose mm, okay. purple okay now the color has changed now let's add some more options from the button we can add some radius let's add some border let's make it dotted let's add a 5 pixel radius the border color can be green over border color can be okay blue we can add some padding margin i don't think we need that now the button width we can set it as 100 percent or 100 pixel whatever you want to add let's add 100 percent there you go so the width has also changed okay I think that's basically it now let's change our theme just to make sure that our panel is working fine with all the other themes so as you see the color remains same with whenever you just change theme there you go so no change in the color so that's it uh, let us know in the comments if you have any questions thank you